Multi-million dollar criminal enterprise operating in a large part of our region has now been dismantled. That according to the Bucks County DA today, which announced charges connected to an elaborate catalytic converter theft operation. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson joining us now live in Doylestown with more on how this investigation unfolded. Becca. Brian, this was a year long investigation involving 5,000 hours of surveillance video undercover investigations. It led these prosecutors to a towing company in Port Richmond that was at minimum buying $10,000 worth of stolen catalytic converters per night. Surveillance video shows a person inside of TDI towing in Port Richmond pulling a catalytic converter out of a car and cooling it off. Investigators say this company bought $8.2 million worth of catalytic converters over three years. Our goal? To put them out of business forever. The Bucks County District Attorney's Office announced charges against 11 people and TDI towing for the catalytic converter theft ring that spans the entire Delaware Valley. As you all know, criminals don't care about borders. Prosecutors say Michael Williams runs TDI towing and is the kingpin. Also charged are six of his employees, many of whom are related, who investigators say bought the converters. And these four suspects are what investigators described as the cutters. One suspect, Richard Page, is still on the run. These are the people that do the damage to your automobiles. Uh, these are also the people that sold the stolen cats to TDI. Investigators say the company bought an average 175 converters per week at about $300 each and were reselling the precious metals. And they are rhodium, platinum, and palladium <laughs> increased dramatically during the pandemic because of supply chain issues. There are now padlocks on the Port Richmond Company. Philadelphia police say a major criminal ring in the city has been shuttered. You heard the DA here in Bucks County say thousands. We had you could times that by a crooked number and you'd know how many Philadelphia has been suffering. So uh, it's a good day when we could put all our resources together. And investigators say this investigation is ongoing, including into the corporations that were buying the precious metals off of TDI. Police are also encouraging more victims who had their catalytic converters stolen to come forward. In Doylestown, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Becca